Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain Badass. This movie tells the story of a Vietnam veteran who becomes a local hero after saving a man from attackers on a city bus. He then decides to take action when his best friend is murdered and the police show little interest in solving the crime. Will he succeed in solving the mystery of his best friend's murder? Let's find out in Badass. Badass begins by showing a man named Frank Vega. Frank is a Vietnam War veteran who has lived a pretty tough life. One day, when Frank was on the bus going somewhere, he saw two young delinquents trying to make a fuss on the bus. Immediately, he remembered his past, where as a child he lived simply with his parents. When he grew up, he had a girlfriend and promised to marry her when he returned from the battlefield. Frank was then assigned to the Vietnam War for 10 years before he finally came home and found out that his girlfriend had married another man and had two children. Heartbroken, Frank enrolls in the police academy but is rejected despite his military background. Unable to find work anywhere, he ended up making a living selling hot dogs for most of his life until a more modern hot dog van took almost all of his customers. He then spent most of the rest of his life as a drifter. Turns to the present time, two young delinquents who make a scene on the bus try to hit an old man, but Frank saves the man and beats up the thugs. Unexpectedly, the action was recorded by several passengers who then uploaded Frank's heroic action to social media. Suddenly, Frank became famous after his heroic actions went viral on social media. He was then given the nickname Badass and was admired by everyone around him. Many people make t-shirts and graffiti with his face on them. The cops give him a ride. Not only that, Frank and his mother were also invited to a talk show. But Frank's mother died three months later, leaving his house and pet dog to him. His best friend and fellow Vietnam vet, Klondike Washington, moves in with Frank and entrusts him with a USB flash drive for his late mother's safe deposit box. But Frank did not know what was in the flash drive and immediately put it in the safe. Klondike went out one night to buy cigarettes. But then, he was confronted by two bad boys named Terence and Sebastian, who asked him to hand over the flash drive he had given to Frank. Because Klondike lied by saying that the flash drive was not with him, he got into an argument with the two thugs, where in the end he was killed and the two men immediately ran away from there. As soon as he got news of his best friend's death, Frank rushed to the morgue to see Klondike's body and asked the police to investigate the murder of his best friend thoroughly and bring the culprits to justice. One night, one of Frank's friends, a police officer named Officer Mallard, visits Frank's house and convinces him that the police department is working hard to find the person who killed Klondike. But after watching the news and learning that the cops solved different murders in a shorter time, Frank realizes that the police are doing little to nothing about Klondike's murder. He decides to solve the mystery himself, especially after seeing with his own eyes when the police were playing around in the police station and doing nothing about the murder case of his best friend. Frank begins his investigation by investigating the alley where Klondike was shot. After investigating there, he finds used bullet casings and a locket with a photo of a woman inside. Frank then takes the used bullet and locket to a pawn shop, where the shopkeeper tells him the locket belongs to a man named Terence and the photo of the woman inside the locket is Terence's wife. After getting Terence's home address, Frank rushed there. But it turned out that Terence wasn't home, and according to his wife's confession, he hadn't been home for a week. After returning the locket to Terence's wife, Frank then asked where he was. Terence's wife said that Terence used to play basketball with some friends at a park and told him his location. Frank rushed to the location. There, he meets a group of young men playing basketball and asks them about Terence. However, the young men instead mocked Frank, so Frank was annoyed and beat them up. It turned out that they were Terence's friends. They finally told Frank they didn't know exactly where Terence was, and asked him to meet a man named Ronaldo who might know where Terence was because Terence and Ronaldo were close friends. Frank eventually goes to Ronaldo's apartment and meets his roommate, who tells him that Ronaldo is at a bar across town. After beating up several bar patrons who tried to kick him out, Frank finally finds Ronaldo and threatens to reveal Terence's whereabouts. Frank finally gets information that Terence is dating a woman named Tanya. The scene then switches to showing a gangster leader named Panther, who is none other than the boss of Terence and Sebastian. Panther is in a serious conversation with Major Williams, a corrupt mayor who forces him to find the flash drive that Klondike stole quickly. The flash drive turned out to contain evidence of corruption and other vices committed by the mayor before and during his term of office. Here, it is finally revealed that Klondike used to work with Panther. But Klondike decides to quit and betrays Panther by stealing Major Williams' important flash drive. Frank then enlists the help of his neighbor, a boy named Martin, to find out the information contained in the flash drive. In the evening, he goes to Tanya who works at a massage parlor and asks where Terence is. 
Because the woman was uncooperative, Frank followed her quietly after she was about to go home after work. After infiltrating Tanya's house, Frank finally finds Terence and tortures him to get information about the person who ordered Klondike's murder. Since Terence was reluctant to say so, Frank then placed Terence's hand on the kitchen trash can, injuring him. Terence eventually reveals that Klondike was killed by a drug lord named Panther for taking the flash drive he had been given, which contained details of a secret project to dig an oil well in the neighborhood on behalf of Major Williams. Terence also tells Frank where the Panther is. Before facing Panther, Frank then went home to get ready and overheard a commotion at Martin's house. He tries to save Amber, Martin's mother, who is having a feud with her abusive husband. Because Frank saved her, Amber then invited him to have dinner at her house. Frank did not waste this opportunity. He put on his best clothes, then dressed neatly and smelled good. At dinner, Frank asks Amber if he can have a matchbook of hers as a memento and she gives it to him. They are about to kiss when Martin Jr. walks in on them. Frank insists that Amber and Martin stay at his place until he can repair her front door. The next day, Frank gives the flash drive to Officer Mallark and tracks Panther to his hideout. Apparently Panther had found out about Frank's arrival and ordered his men to ambush him if he didn't bring him the flash drive he wanted. Frank is eventually overpowered by Panther's men, where he faints, is held captive and tortured to reveal the location of the flash drive by being hooked up to an electrocution device. Despite being tortured in such a way, Frank still refuses to tell Panther the flash drive location. Annoyed by Frank's stubbornness, Panther then takes Frank's wallet and finds out his address, where he believes that Frank hid the flash drive in his house and his loved ones there. Panther then orders his men to continue torturing Frank while rushing to his house to retrieve the flash drive. Before long, Frank could free himself from his bonds and tossed a lit match, which he had gotten from Amber, at some of the oil drums stored in the premises, setting the building on fire and causing an explosion. Panther manages to escape, but Frank goes after him. They both steal buses and duel, damaging many other vehicles during their chase, and ultimately demolish both buses. While chasing Panther again on foot, Frank comes across the two thugs he beat up on the bus earlier. The thugs try to undo their previous humiliation at Frank's hands by using their cell phone to record themselves beating up Frank, but Frank overpowers them again and resumes his chase. Panther finally arrives at Frank's house and finds Amber. Panther then threatened to kill the woman for the flash drive, but Frank arrives just in time to save Amber. The two engage in a fight all the way to the front yard, and just as the Panther is about to attack Frank again, Amber jumps onto his back, trying to help Frank by slowing the Panther's movement, giving Frank enough time to get up and defeat Panther. The police finally arrested Panther and Major Williams was arrested by the police when his connection to Panther scandal was revealed in the mass media. Frank, Amber, and Martin end up living happily ever after. The moral message that we can take from this film is, never to underestimate other people regardless of the person's background.